Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is 16 power of sin square x plus 16 power of cos square x is equal to 10. To find the values of x from this trigonometric equation, such so that x is between 0 degree to 90 degree. Now, from this our powers, we have power of sin square x and cos square x. So we'll apply a trigonometric rule, which is sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Then we'll let this sine square x as y. So when we let y is equal to sine square x, so this trigonometric rule here to be y, then plus this cos square x is equal to 1. Then cos square x will take y into this side, so it will be cos square x is equal to 1 minus y. So into the powers, sine square x will substitute y, and this cos square x will substitute 1 minus y. Therefore, from this our problem, which is 16 power of sine square x plus 16 power of cos square x is equal to 10. So it will be 16 sine square x is this sine square x with substitute y. So it will be power of y plus 16 power of cos square x. This is cos square x with substitute 1 minus y. So it will be power of 1 minus y is equal to 10. Then our equation will be 16 power of y plus 16 power of 1 minus y is same as 16 power of 1 which is 16. Then 16 power of negative y is same as in the denominator it will be 16 power of y in the denominator. Then it will be equal to this 10. Then in the next step to remove this denominator we will multiply the whole equation by this 16 power of y. So 16 power of y times 16 power of y is 16 power of y plus y is power of 2y. Then plus this 16 power of y will cancel with this 16, 16 power of y. So here it will be 16 then is equal to 10 times 16 power of y. So 10 times 16 power of y. Then in here we make 16 power of y in common. So it will be 16 power of y will take power of y inside the bracket and this power of 2 will take outside the bracket because 2 times y is power of 2y. Then plus this 16 is equal to 10 times 16 power of y. Then in the next step, in here 16 power of y is common. So we'll let, let's say u is equal to 16 power of y. So our equation will be u square, then plus this 16 is equal to 10 times u, which is 10 u. Then we we'll take this 10 u into this side. So it will be this u square. This we we'll take into this side to be minus 10 u, then plus this 16 is equal to 0. Then from this quadratic equation, it can be solved by grouping and factorization. So it will be this u square, then minus 10 u, because 16 is same as 8 times 2. So this minus 10 u, it will be minus 8 u minus 2 u, which is minus 10 u. Then plus this 16 is equal to 0. Then from here u is common. So we'll take u out of bracket. u squared divided by u is u. Negative 8 u divided by u is negative 8 bracket. In here negative 2 we'll take out of bracket. Negative 2 u divided by negative 2 is u. 16 divided by negative 2 is negative 8 bracket is equal to 0. Then from here u minus 8 is common. So we'll take u minus 8 bracket out of bracket. 
this divided by this is u this divided by this is this negative 2 bracket is equal to 0 then from here we have two solutions whereas the first solution is this u minus 8 is equal to 0 and this is the second solution u minus 2 is equal to 0 then from the first solution we take negative 8 into this side so it will be u is equal to 8 and here we take negative 2 into this side so it will be u is equal to 2 now in here we already get the values of u then we recall before we let u is in here we let u is 16 power of y so from u is equal to 16 power of y so it will be this which is 16 power of y is equal to this 8 also in here u is 16 power of y so it will be 16 power of y is equal to this 2 then we make it to have set base of 2 so 16 16 is same as 2 power of 4 then bracket power of y is equal to 8 which is 2 power of 3 then this 2 we take power 4 times y is power 4 y is equal to this 2 power of 3 then from here we have same base of 2 so we we'll compare these powers so it will be 4 y is equal to 3 then we divide by 4 and here divide by 4 so this and this will cancel then it will be y is equal to 3 over 4 and from this second solution this 16 is 2 power of 4 then bracket this power of y is equal to 2 which is same as 2 power of 1 so it will be 2 4 times y is 4y is equal to 2 power of 1 now this they have same base so we compare the powers so it will be 4y is equal to 1 then we we'll divide by 4 in both sides so this and this will cancel then it will be y is equal to 1 over 4 so we already get these values of y then again we we'll recall before we let y is in here we let y is equal to sine square x so from y is equal to sine square x then we'll compare these two equations so it will be sine square x is equal to 3 over 4 and in here y is sine square x so it will be sine square x is equal to this 1 over 4 then in here we'll apply square root and in here we'll apply square root so this square root will cancel square then it will be sine x is equal to this square root of 3 over square root of 4 is 2 and in here we'll apply square root and here we'll apply square root so this and this will cancel so it will be sine x is equal to square root of 1 is 1 over square root of 4 is 2 then now to find the values of x because in our problem we are the condition is x is between 0 to 90 degree so from the condition x is between 0 degree to 90 degree that means the 0 to 90 degree when we draw a, a cycle it is the first quarter of the cycle so that's why we didn't we didn't consider the negative negative sign we didn't consider negative sign and here we didn't consider negative sign we only consider positive because it is on the first quarter of the cycle now for this triangle when we draw a triangle for this we know that sine 
sign is opposite over hypotenuse. Now this is 30 degree and this is 60 degree and this is 90 degree. So this for this 30 degree in here it is 1 and here it is 2 and here it is square root of 3. So when sine of sine of 30 sine of 30 is equal to opposite opposite is 1 over hypotenuse is 2 and for this sine of 60 here above sine of 60 is equal to opposite opposite is this square root of 3 over hypotenuse it is 2 now when we compare we check here square root of 3 over 2 square root of 3 over 2 sine x sine 60 so x is equal to this 60 so this is one of the value of x and for this 1 over 2 1 over 2 sine x sine 30 so this is the other value of x therefore the values of x in this our problem x is equal to 30 degree and the other value of x is 60 degree so these are the values of x in this our problem whereas these values of x is between 0 to 90 degree now to check if these values of x are correct let's check for this 30 degree now for this 30 degree from our problem it is 16 power of sine square x plus 16 power of cos square x is equal to 10 now we use this angle 30 so it will be 16 power of sine square 30 plus 16 power of cos square 30 is equal to 10 so it will be 16 sine 30 what is sine 30 sine 30 is 1 over 2 so it will be 1 over 2 then square plus 16 cos 30 cos 30 is sine sine 60 which is this square root of like this cos 30 here this is 30 cos it will be this adjacent over hypotenuse so it will be square root of 3 over 2 so here it is square root of 3 over 2 then bracket square is it equal to 10 then it will be 16 1 over 2 square it will be 1 over 4 then plus 16 square root of 3 square is 3 over 2 square is 4 is it equal to 10 then it will be 16 to have base of 2 16 is 2 power of 4 then times this power of 1 over 4 plus 16 is 2 over 2 power of 4 times this power 3 over 4 is it equal to 10 this and this will cancel it will be 2 power of 1 which is 2 plus this and this will cancel it will be 2 power of 3 is it equal to 10 then from this 2 plus 2 power of 3 is 8 is equal to this 10 now 2 plus 8 is 10 is equal to 10 now left side and right side are equal then it is true for this festival of x which is angle 30 now you can check for this angle 60 which is obvious the correct answer thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye